Okay, here is the finished Victorian Bustle Cage. Now, I put the boning in, and it was really easy to do. I just put it into each channel. I bought the uh, boning pre-cut and pre-tipped from Truly Victorian, and it was like $8. It was so worth it because sometimes putting on those tips is a pain, and cutting it is a pain. But um, anyway, so I just bought it that way, and then it was really easy to slip in each channel, and then just go ahead and finish up where um, you slipped it in. Um, and so those shut. And then this inside one slips in on the inside and then it goes up through that little square that we had left open and then back down to the other side. So that was really easy to do. Okay, I'm going to flip it up and show you one more step that you have to finish on the inside. Okay, here is the inside and what you have to do is you have to attach um, these little strings or they say ribbon but I would use drawstring or um, cotton shoelaces because then that way they're not going to untie on you. Ribbon has a tendency to slip and so um, you certainly don't want this to come untied under the weight of your dress. So if they just attach right on the inside, I just zigzagged them and stitched straight across a couple of times to make sure they're nice and, and um, tight in there so they're not going to come undone. And um, so then you can see how these tie behind your, your butt so um, they don't tie in front or anything. That's what, and the, the tighter that you tie them, the more that the bustle will stick out. So, um, and that's just something that um, you can, you know, do while it's on you and you can adjust it to get it to the way that you want. Um, you know, typically you kind of tie it so that it's the same um, width as your hips. Um, but anyway, that's what makes it stick out. So make sure that that's tied behind your hip and behind your butt. So that's how they stick out. Okay, now, I'm going to flip this back down so that you can see the whole thing. And then, of course, my overlay goes on the top of that. And I just whip stitched it to the top, and it lays right across um, the top of that first boning, just, just up from where that first boning is. Okay, there it is. I'm really happy with it. Really happy. I think it looks really great, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Not hard to do at all. Okay, um, I guess I'll see you next time.